those are the frames that you want. So what I did this morning, I went over to Deer Path, I pulled out a frame that had some fruit in it, tapped it down, shook it around, and poured about 200 bees into this jar. Okay? It's nice if you can take them from a couple of different frames, so you try to get a little drone, drone brood on there, some worker brood in there, right, and get a little bit of, of each. So they say about a quarter of a cup is 200, so I probably have a few more than 200 in there. Wanted to make sure I had enough. All right, so there's your sample. Anybody has, hasn't done this before? Somebody want to come and try it? Come on up. Use a confectionery sugar, not the... I think the... you should bang that jar a couple more times. Yeah. I... <laughs> All right, so what you want to do now, here, what to do? You want to put it... Put a tablespoon or two in there. Get it really. Lay it on the ground. Get rid of those. Right on top of it. Go ahead. Put it in there. Yeah. Take it in there. Then shake it in. Okay, so you want to get enough just to coat them, right? They're all nice and coated. Yum yum. And now you want to give them a minute or two until the heat helps release the mites off of the bees. Now, I'm hopeful that we're gonna see some mites here. I'm not sure we will because I cheated this morning. I didn't wanna go all the way down into the brood nest, so I got these bees right off the top frames where they were just building wax. So I don't know how many mites we're gonna see, but we'll, we'll show you the technique anyway. So they're a little bit mad, but you know, they're no worse for the wear. <laughs> what is that grade? Right? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Is that cool? Yeah, so it's this like is eight, eight by eight, grade eight hardware cloth grade on the eight. top. Okay. All right. I guess uh, another way to do this is you could spray a little carburetor cleaner in there, okay. kill them all, and just roll them, and your mites will kind of stick <coughs> on the side of the jar. <coughs> but if you want to be nice to your bees, we just sugar them a little bit, get them a little annoyed. All right, so you give them a, a couple of minutes, and then what you're gonna do is, I just got a bucket of water here, a nice white pail, so you can see. And what you wanna do is you wanna just start shaking them. Ah, oh, there's one. There's one. Right there. Oh no, we're not gonna get too many. Oh, they're smaller than I thought they would be. <laughs> that's one right here. That's the mite. That's the only one I see right now. But at least we got one. But what's nice about this is they're easy to see when they're in the water. You're against a, ba a background, okay? So then the question is, okay, what's what's the right number, right? What's good and what's bad? Uh, University of Minnesota, I have a little handout for those of you who are interested. They say basically you want to figure out how many bee, how many mites there are per 100 bees. So if if you find five, well let's say you find 10 and you got 200 bees, that's five per 100. Okay? The magic number seems to be 10 bees per 100. Okay, think about it, that's 1%. So if you're above 1%, you really ought to consider or 10 percent. That's pretty high, right? So you want to make sure that that, that would be a time you want to treat. Did you say again how you got your bees into the jar? Oh, totally. Yeah, so again, what I did is I went into my hive. I found a frame that had brood on it. it had some drone brood and some worker brood. I tap the bees into the box. I shake them. They'll all fall into the corner. I just pour them into a jar. Yep. So you can use anything, again, anything to collect them with but this seems to work pretty well because you get a bunch of them, you shake them in the corner and one fell swoop, you have them all. So that's the sugar rolls. <laughs>